I have a house flip today. Let me go over some common issues that I normally find. Let's go check it out. One of the most common problems that we find on these older properties is they have, they have Federal Pacific panel boxes. Federal Pacific panel boxes are an older type electrical panel and that the company went out of business because it's a defective product. Their product has been known to cause fires and uh, there's several issues wrong with inside this panel box and I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. So one of the most common issues uh, with this panel box is actually the cover. As you remove it, you run into some satellite dishes, but actually it's the, uh, the removal of the cover and the, it catches the breakers and it trips them off. One of the most basic issues is that there is a lot of corrosion on the panel box, so you know that you have some, some water intrusion. Also, you have several, this break, this main feed is actually triple tap. Also, the other main feed is, oh, that's triple tap too as well. You also have improperly covered wires, so you, you don't have the raw, proper colored wires. The box isn't bonded and there is no ground to the box too as well. There are several other issues, but the main thing is, is we know there enough that we need to call out an electrician and let them know that this panel box is defective. Let's go check out the next issue. Another common issue that we run into is the actual service entrance mast is too low. Service entrance mast should be three feet high off the roof structure and actually 10 feet higher off the backyard. So it just keeps people from hanging in things or grabbing onto it for electrical shock. So if you can see right here, I'm only five foot six and I can easily grab onto this. So we know that the service mass needs to be raised for safety. So this roof is brand new. Uh, pretty sure this flipper didn't think there was gonna be anything wrong with this one. But actually, as I walked up, I noticed that there were several shiny flat fasteners that were the shingles didn't hit their starter course correctly. Also, the lead jacks are not installed properly. How these lead jacks should be installed is they should be folded down into the stack to help prevent water penetration. The next issue is the gutters. They didn't repair the gutters at all. You can see that they're holding water right now and they're not properly sloped. So whenever it rains, it's actually gonna roll back into the structure and cause some wood rot there. And then the final one is the patio right here. The patio is holding water right now too. Hasn't caused any damage yet, but with standing water on a, on a metal roof like this, it will cause some rust. Let's go check out another one. Another common issue that we find is whenever there's a brand new roof, roofers don't normally work with HVAC equipment or the water heaters. So whenever they remove these stacks, they never install them properly. So this one, it's loose in the attic. It's separated in the attic. And right now the furnace is emitting carbon monoxide into the attic space. Okay, so one of the next issues that we found when it came from when they installed the roof is actually these bowed and bent purlins in the attic space. Some of the newer inspectors out there or some inspectors in general get bowed or bent purlins, they automatically think it relates to foundation issues. This actually comes from the roofers bringing in 50 pound bundles to 100 pound bundles and throwing it on the roof and it actually damages the purlins. These purlins are actually not installed properly either, but because of the age, they're not going to be. But purlins are supposed to be installed at a 45 degree angle or within a 90 every four feet and be installed onto a load bearing wall. So these purlins right here, they're damaged. We're gonna ask, recommend for some repairs. We also have some damaged rafters and I'll follow up with some images of that too as well. So one of the last issues that I come across most of the time on older properties is galvanized water lines. They rust from the inside out due to our hard waters. What it causes is water spots or pinholes in the, system, the water system and it causes water stains. Also, it causes significant low water pressure inside the structure. This can cause a lot of livability issues. 
How you find them are underneath sinks or behind toilets. If you have some sort of magnet, you can tag it and it'll stick right to it. If you find these, I'd automatically start budgeting for replacement or know that you're gonna have to negotiate this issue. All right, so that's Chris with A Action. If you have any home inspection questions, please give me a call and please like and share the videos. Cover as you remove it, you run into some satellite dishes, but actually it's the, uh, the removal of the cover and the, it catches the breakers and it trips them off. One of the most 